to something that's very important for folks. Yeah. We have an alert about fake photos that are making the rounds on social media and in news reports. This Teen Vogue image of March for Our Live student activist Emma Gonzalez ripping up a gun target was doctored to look like she was ripping a constitution. Okay, Rebecca Jarvis is back with this, and it's, it's kind of hard. It no. is kind of hard, and it's become so prevalent, Robin. Mm. These are all over the Internet. These doctored photos have become so prevalent that they've flooded the Internet, many even going viral, and they make it all the way around the world before anyone realizes it's a fake, which is why you have to know how to tell the difference between the original mm -hmm. and a hoax. This photo of Parkland activist Emma Gonzalez, part of a cover from Teen Vogue's new digital cover dedicated to gun violence. We basically gave Emma target paper and we had target paper from the prop stylist and then she ripped it. It really was a metaphor for the fact that these kids don't want to be targets for shooters and for violence anymore. But just as the cover photo began to spread, a fake GIF was created showing Emma Gonzalez not tearing up the gun range target, but instead making it look like she was tearing up the Constitution. Here is our cover, and you can see clearly that she's tearing a target paper. And on the left, you can see this grainy video, another sign that it's fake. And also you can see the text of the Constitution sort of shakes when she starts to rip it. The fake image quickly going viral, turbocharged on social media after it was posted by Gab, which bills itself as the free speech social media network on Twitter and referred to the image as a satirical meme. Once misinformation is out there, it's out there and it's far easier to spread lies than to correct them. The technology to manipulate videos and photos more accessible than ever. Now there is software that can be purchased and done at home and within a few days you can manufacture uh, what someone says in a video. So we are entering into dark times. Some tips to determine the real from the hoax. Follow the chain and see where that information first originated. Do a reverse Google search and trust your gut. If it seems unlikely, it probably is. And one area that's really become a target of these fake photos, Robin, are natural disasters after hurricanes, tornadoes, major storms. We've seen a bunch of these hoax photos no. all over the internet. If you see a shark, for example, in a picture swimming down a main street, be skeptical yeah, that that photo are. is very likely a fake. I know, but there are times, I mean, in the case of this young woman who is, you know, trying to, to do her best to bring about change and it being used against her like this, it's, it's such challenging times right now. How are there ways that we can spot when something is a fake? So we took a picture. This is a picture that I posted to my Instagram account a few okay, days after right. Good Morning America. This is the real picture, no filter. And then we had a producer doctor it. Now this is the picture that's been doctored and there are a couple of telltale signs. So first mm. of all, look at these branches here. You have duplicates in this photo that weren't oh, in the original. Right. The branches look identical. Then look at the walls. You see how it's a little bit warped here. It's mismatched. Mm -hmm. There's no matching. And oftentimes you see this with a brick wall where the bricks don't line up on the wall. Here's where you see things along the floor. It's also, you can see here, these floorboards no longer match up. It's a little bit fuzzy here where the floorboards exist. And then finally, look for shadows in those photos because here you can see there's a shadow. But here in the fixed hoax version, no shadow here anymore. So these wow. are the things to look for. It's not easy, Robin, it's not easy at but all. you do, you can look for these things and they will often show up in the hoax photos. Yeah, and also give people the benefit of the doubt. When you see something that you're like, mm, could that really be, just give them the benefit of the doubt. Use do that a little, skepticism. Right, and do a little research. And yeah. just, cause you can do, like you said, the reverse Google and things like that and maybe get to the bottom of it. It's important to be skeptical in these times. Yeah, yeah. all right, thank you, Rebecca, so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.